Yolanda, I know a lot of congregations feel as though dance ministry is really novel. However, it has been an expression of people of faith for many years and is a traditional um, form of worship. What are some forms of the sacred dance throughout history and, and now? Well, um, there are a number of different forms of sacred dance and one um, that we can offer is ecstatic dance. An ecstatic dance is a dance where people um, get involved with the movement then it begins to kind of generate more and more energy, more and more excitement until oftentimes there is an expression, uh, an explosion of, of, of worship. Um, an example of that would be uh, during the time of, of uh, slavery in the United States, many of the, uh, the enslaved community members would sneak out at night and they would go out into the bush arbors, that's what they called it, but they would just go to a secret place where they would have worship and they would worship freely. And they would sing the African American spirituals and those spirituals would allow them, they would do kind of a shuffle movement in, in a circle and it would allow them to um, get caught up in the spirit of God and they would go faster and faster and faster and faster until they would then shout and sing and celebrate. That's an example of ecstatic dance. Uh, a person came up to me during the workshop and said, well, you know, um, I come from the Church of God of Christ tradition and ecstatic dance is, is a part of my tradition, although she goes, but we never called it that. We called it the holy dance. Yeah. And a lot of people understand it and know it as the holy dance. So. Um, I'm sure that we can go even further back from the time of slavery because a lot of the dancing, uh, if you go into many of the African countries, um, in 2000 and uh, in 1994, I happened to be in South Africa mm. and um, we participated in some of the churches, uh, the Zulu Zionist churches, mm. and the first thing they did was a ring dance. Mm. And so that can take you back then uh, to that particular country, but it goes across racial ethnic groups, it goes across um, interreligious groups um, in terms of, of the various types of dance. Another form of sacred dance would be ritualistic dance, and ritualistic dance means that it becomes a part of the ritual. Dance is the ritual, and the ritual then becomes the dance. So, for example, oftentimes there would be movement and ritual in um, the offering of the gifts, mm -hmm. uh, processing into the congregation, that it happens in a specific way. Um, and so that then can become a part of the ritual. And then um, the third one is liturgical. Mm -hmm. And liturgical is, is a part of sacred dance, but it's also what we understand as religious dance. Yeah. It becomes kind of the umbrella of everything that we do. And liturgical simply means that it has a ritual form, a frame. It is a frame that, um, that is undergirded and grounded in one's sense of spirituality and faith. And so, um, again, the ritual of, of processing in, the ritual of taking communion, the ritual of uh, breaking bread together, uh, the ritual of maybe praying in a certain way, or the ritual of fit, foot washing, uh, all of those can become a part of the sacred dance if we incorporate some form of movement uh, along with those, um, along with those, those, uh, those gestures.